Hey guys, back again with another Blu-ray DVD update. This is all from the same day as my PS3, PS4 update. But I thought I'd make the video separate so that if people didn't care about the PlayStation games, they could see the DVDs and the Blu-rays. So to start off with, let's start off with the DVDs because I haven't got a lot of them. So first of all, for $7.99 I picked up Night of Champions 2014. Yeah, you know, I keep saying to myself, I'm not going to buy these DVDs because they're terrible. I'm going to buy the Blu-rays from the UK. But the thing is, I need to buy Region B import Blu-ray. When I was in England, I had a regional Blu-ray player. And now, I don't. So it kind of annoys me. But anyway, I got that. Got NCIS Los Angeles Season 5. For $8 in CEX. You know, I've never watched an episode, but what's going to happen is I'm going to end up owning every season like I do with everything else. Donna got Sayuki, uh, the Complete Collection. I think I said that right. Sayuki? Maybe it's Complete Collection Blu-ray. It's like bloody 12 discs. Oh, it's 10 discs. But, I mean, they put the wrong price on there, so we were happy with that. Then we've got Mike and Molly, the second season. I've never seen an episode of this. And you might go, why didn't you buy the first one? Well, I was like, the first one was $12, this one's three fifty. With sitcom kind of comedies, you never really, I never really care about watching them in order because it doesn't ever make real sense. I mean, some of them do, but it's always good to give a standard, you know. Plus, second season's normally better. I also got on DVD The Incredible Hulk. And I think this is both the movies. The Incredible Hulk, The Trial of the Incredible Hulk, and The Incredible Hulk Returns. Yeah, both of these movies, four ninety nine bargain. So if I get this and then I could watch, then I could get the series when I wanted to. I think this, I think this one has um, bloody, um, yeah, it's got Daredevil in it. So I'm looking forward to seeing Daredevil from the 70s. It's funny because the Daredevil from the 70s is how they're going for in the new series. So I'm kind of happy about that now I've seen it. So now we come to the Blu-rays. And I got some bargains. So first of all, people are going to say, Mel, why did you buy that? Why did you buy this? It's because I've got the other three movies, and that's The Scorpion King 4, Quest for Power. Now, I've got the other three, and I was like, I'll get that for $5, why not? And it's got Hoist Gracie in it, and Roy Nelson, which is going to be interesting to see, because I can't imagine either of them as bloody good actors, but... Then I got OMG, the 50, the top 50 incidents in WWE history. That was $1.50. Not bad. Let's see what the discs are like. Yeah, in a good condition. $1.50 for a rest in Blu-ray. And people say Blu-rays are expensive. Then we got the Lone Ranger. Look at that with the slipcover for $4. I was really happy about that because even though I'm not a big Joy Depp fan, I'm not a big Lone Ranger fan, I was like, you know what, I'll give it a go and watch it. And, you know, I was like, I'll enjoy it probably. It was apparently really bad, not really good, but sometimes you just enjoy a film for watching a film, you know. You don't have to love a film. That made no sense. Uh, Battle of the Dan, which is Dolph Lundgren film, which, I thought, which I've been waiting for a while and I'm looking forward to reviewing eventually. So, yeah. Batman and Robin finally got the last Batman film I needed. And I know this is a terrible one. So don't tell me that, because I know it's bad. Arnold Schwarzenegger, or Negger, I should say, sorry. Uh, I'm Mr. Freeze! And Uma Thurman. Ooh, Clooney. You know, and bloody Batgirl. <laughs> you know, Batgirl was great, but not in this. I don't when Batgirl became the Oracle. And then I got Smallville, the final season. You know what? I've, been, I've got season 9 on Blu-ray. Now I need 6, 7 and 8. So I'm looking, I'm glad I got that for $12. What's this? Wolverine and the X-Men. I've been wanting this for a while. 24 episodes on three discs. And I'm really looking forward to watching this. I just haven't had the chance to pick it up until now. Uh, now what's this? Mankind, the story of all of us. A history documentary 12-part miniseries on three discs. To be honest with you, I bought this because I really like the cover. Yeah, that's right. I bought it because I like the cover. Now, if the series sucks, I'll probably still keep it because I never get rid of my Blu-rays most of the time anyway. And then we've got two more. We've got Dragon Ball Z. And I heard this was bad. Dragon Ball Evolution Z edition, sorry. But this is really bad. But it's like 4 99 I can't let that go. I'll watch it. 
And then we've got Cinderella 2 and 3. With the, look at that. That looks lovely, doesn't it? They had number one, but it was too expensive. But for this, yeah. And then I got one Blu-ray box set. And that Blu-ray box set was True Blood Season 7. The final season. For $10. $10, man. So I was like, you know, why not? I'll get that. And then I'll complete my True Blood collection. To be honest with you, I waited no. But screw it. Why not? $10 when it's $30 normally. Yeah. So that was my whole update, guys, on my DVD Blu-rays. Let's look at this. Let's hold this up. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm back again. Yeah. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you've seen any of these and you know anything about them or you want to recommend anything I watch, let me know. And I'd appreciate it. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Take care and have a lovely, lovely day.